Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 4 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, we're talking about creating our first feature and scenario with Cucumber. And as I already said, this video series is split into two sections. Section 1, which is going to deal completely with Cucumber and Section 2, which is going to deal with Cucumber and Selenium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. All right, so let's get started. So before that, let's all help to save our tree, water, and energy to save our motherly earth. So this is the slide which is going to be repeated for each and every video that we are going to create in our exit automation. Well, feature files. What is this? Well, starting to work with Cucumber, the first thing we'll encounter is going to be the feature file. As we have already created a feature file in our previous video, if you have watched that, we created a feature file in our IntelliJ IDE by giving an extension of dot feature. The feature file is more like a plain text file but with dot feature extension as we have already discussed in our specflow video series as well. But this dot feature extension is going to represent a feature file. So within the feature file we will be writing all our steps which is nothing but the Gherkin specification that we discussed in our part one of this video series. So if you are from the specflow background, you might have noticed that there will be an code behind file for each and every feature file along with the step definition file, something like this. So you will have a feature file and then you will have a code behind file and then you will have a step definition file. So the code behind file and the feature file in the specflow are intrinsic, meaning you cannot separate the code behind file from the feature file. But the step definition file is a file where you will be holding all your steps implementation of the features. So if it's not making any sense, just bear with me. In this video, we'll be actually doing that and you'll understand what is that meaning. But in Cucumber, we will not have any code behind file for the feature file as we have in C Sharp. Rather, the IDE like Eclipse or IntelliJ are more intelligent enough to map it. But if you are going to run a Cucumber file out of an IDE, something like a command line, then surely you will need to use a different approach called test runner run with attribute. Again, these are something which are kind of advanced, so we will be discussing about them in later of this course. But for now, just be informed that if you are going to run a feature file from within an IDE, then you can just run the feature file just like a normal Java file by right clicking and run as feature file and the code will be executed. Whereas if you are going to run the feature file from a command line, something like Maven, if you're going to run that, then you will need a test runner with a run with attribute or otherwise called as annotations in Java. So the step definitions file is yet another Java file which holds all the steps written with the feature files. So that's what we're going to deal with in this video as well. Again, if you are from a specflow background, you might have noticed that each step definition files will be decorated with a bindings attribute in C Sharp, whereas in Cucumber, it's not required. The mapping between a feature files step and the step definition files step is automatically happening in Cucumber but in specflow, that's not the case. So let's start working with our first feature file which we created in our previous video and we will create a step definition file then and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is the same project which we created in our previous video and we just created a very, very plain, simple feature file called login.feature and we just left it as it is. So here we are going to add our first very simple feature file. Let's call this as login feature. And within a feature, you can give a description of the login feature. So you can specify what this login feature is going to do. Something like you can specify this login feature deals with the login functionality of the application. And then you can add many things here. You can add a background if you want. But for now, I'm just going to leave the background case. We will deal about that in a later video. But we'll just create a very, very simple scenario here. And then we'll 
get deep into those advanced concepts in our later video of this video series. So I'm going to just create a first scenario and you can see that once I type SCE, the intelligence in IntelliJ is more intelligent enough to bring all the matching keywords or otherwise called as the syntax of the Gherkin in our IntelliJ IDE it's like in scenario, scenario outline and scenario template. And we're going to use the scenario for now. Scenario outline, we'll be discussing about that in later videos of this video series. So I'm just going to type a scenario name here. Login as correct login with correct username and password. So here, once you type this, you can see that the IntelliJ is also more intelligent enough to do the indentation for us. You can see that it is automatically indented, which is also not available in Visual Studio, but this is so cool. In IntelliJ, you got that. And then you can type given I navigate to the login page of the application and I enter the username and password and then you can just say username as admin and password as admin and I login button then I should see the user form page so if you're wondering for which application i'm writing this particular scenario i'm actually writing this scenario for this particular site the exitautomation.com slash demo site slash login.html a very very plain simple dummy website for exit automation to be made use by our selenium automation framework and other courses that we got in our youtube channel so you can see that once you log in, it will bring you to the user form page. So for that, I'm just writing a very, very plain, simple scenario right here, right? And then let's save this. And you can see that there is some highlight coming in here. And if you just navigate over here, it says that undefined steps reference, I navigate to the login page. So there is a more, you can see the more by doing control F1. So it's saying that the highlight step oops you can see that the control f1 brings you the highlighted steps in the cucumber dot feature file do, do not have a matching step definitions use the quick fix to create a new step definition for you it's asking us that it's ready to do a create a step definition for us right so i'm just doing going to do a alt enter and you can see that it's going to bring me a intelligence here saying create step definition create all steps definition i just tried this create all step definitions and i was expecting that it will create all the step definitions for me in a single class file but it's not happening though create all step definitions and it's asking me uh, it's it will ask us to create a new step definition file so i'm just going to say login step and then i'm going to hit ok and you can see that it's actually creating the file location under source test java which is kind of meaningful we are going to create a test for our application so i'm just going to say okay and it has created a login step class file and you can see that it is not creating all the steps rather it's just creating only one step for now which is kind of crazy so if i go to the login dot feature you can see that the only one step has been actually uh, mapped to the particular step definition and the highlighting of this particular line is gone and the reason is because you can actually do a right click and if you go to the go to implementation or declaration you can actually end up to this particular file the login step dot java so the reason is because right now this particular features step and this method of this particular class is being mapped and the mapping is happening because of this guy right so if the line is very small to read maybe i can just expand control shift a and then you can type something like increase font size if you do that it will increase the font size for you right so kind of great so you can then go to the login dot feature once again and right now if you just do alt enter and 
if you just do this, it will ask you where do you want to create all the steps implementations to be available. So if you choose the login steps, this time you can see that it will automatically add all the steps into the login steps.cs. See? Now it is bringing the remaining three steps right now for us in here. And if you go to the login feature, all the highlight is gone. Which means all the steps of this particular scenario is being mapped to the login step dot java. So this is how you can create a scenario and map the scenario with the step definition using these simple steps, right? And the next video we will try to start implementing these step definitions in much greater details. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.